Hey guys, it's Hyper and I'm back again to do another part of the Bunker series guides. Today, we are going to be looking at Bunker D2 in the northeast corner of the D2 sector. Um, and right off the bat, I'll tell you, this is probably one of my more favorite bunkers. And the reason being, it's one of the, like, usually the snow bunkers are kind of a pain in the butt to sneak into. And they've got a lot of fluff in them, like those big control rooms, which this one does have, I'll admit. But... The rest of the bunker is so easy to loot. It's so hard to get lost in this one, and it's got everything you need. So it's also not bad to sneak into. Um, let me show you what it's got on top. First off, you're going to have one of those little buildings that has like the office and the restroom and the dresser and the little like workshop area. And then on the other side, let's see. behind it over here you're gonna find some conix boxes a few tarps and then a few of these little um uh shipping container offices like those construction offices so that's not bad um you could get pretty decent loot and um you know get kitted up before you even go into the bunker in these places a nice little place to hide if you need uh get out of the elements you know but if i come to the uh fence you're gonna notice immediately that uh the door to the bunker is actually right there guarded by this guy right here and then way back up there is going to be the ladder. Now the ladder, you can sneak in on this one. Um, I don't recommend it, so I'm not really gonna show you guys how to do it. It's not too hard, but it is out in the open and um, unless you time it perfectly, you won't get it. So I'm just gonna show you guys um, a more surefire way to get into the uh, D2 bunker. And excuse me if I cough or anything, I am sick right now, so um, just bear with me if I make any weird sounds. All right, I'm just gonna make sure the area is clear of any puppets or anything. I don't see any. But we're gonna make our way all the way back here. And we are going to peek around. Now he does a pretty simple just box like formation patrol. And when he starts walking away, that's when we're gonna start making our way behind him and there we go we're in simple enough all right so right off the bat we ran into one of these puppets pretty typical stuff we'll just take care of him really quick and then we'll go on to looting the rest of the bunker And there we are, we're in D2. Uh, let's check that injury really quick. I don't want it to be too bad. Got C1, C1, no, we'll be okay. And right off the bat, you're gonna see a ton of tarps. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll just take that, might as well. Right off the bat, you're just gonna see a ton of tarps and boxes and stuff like that. It's just a really good bunker. It reminds me of B2 in the best ways. Like it doesn't have as many tarps and boxes, but you know, you get what you need. Now, before we go in here, I know this is probably not going to end well, because I hear quite a few puppets in there. Oh, dear. But uh, we're going to go for it anyways. We're just going to send it, because, you know, what better way to get things started. Now, when you walk down this ramp, you're not going to see a door openable over here. You're just going to find more tarps, more crates. Then it's going to bring you to this little hallway, which is not bad. So... We are going to take care of this guy right here. I'm sure more are going to come up. And if they do, I'll just hide behind this window door and take them out from a safe uh, distance. From the safety of behind the door. Actually, is there... Yep, those doors are closed. Good. So, first things first is we're going to take you to the top level. Um, and there's nothing really special up here. Like, nothing that you would seek out specifically for. There's a large control room right here. Um, so you can get locks and, you know, duct tape, things like that. Nothing too crazy, but you got two depositories right here. Um, one's over there. This is an office right here, and there's another office at the end of the hall. I'm just going to equip those because why not? Um, so offices are good to find your locks and your keys and bobby pins and all that good stuff that you could use to, uh, pick locks and either create your, um things to lock up your boxes or pick locks and what we're gonna do is um we're gonna go down to the rest of the bunker from 
right here in the control room area. I know I usually say the control rooms, I don't like them because they are fluff, but this bunker, this is it. Like, of all the fluff in this whole bunker, this is all you're going to find. Not bad, a car 98 suppressor. We are going to take these really quick. Um... And we're going to make our way down. So I can show you that um, that's the entire top level. Like, you saw the entire thing. There's nothing really else to do up there. Now, on the bottom level, we are going to find both armories, the kill box, and the ladder room. And I'm just going to show you that really quick because, um, yeah, it, it doesn't take long to loot this entire bunker. Hurry up there. And there we go. Wait, it's not in my inventory anymore? Hmm. All right, we're going to go right first, and that's going to take us to... I just want to check my corners really quick. All right, nothing crazy right here. That's going to take us to the offices down here. you got some wall lockers right here you can unlock if you can pick them. And immediately you're going to see a ladies' restroom and the first armory off to your right. Um, I'm just going to look through it really quick, see what I have, just so I can get up for when I'm not making these videos. That's not bad. I don't have my AK anymore, so we'll just call that a day right now. I don't feel like picking any locks. And you keep going down the hall. Off to your left, you're going to find another armory. And to your right, you're going to find the men's restroom. Um, nothing crazy. Whoa! Whoa! That's what I get for not closing doors behind me. That is entirely my fault. All right, let me check my injuries really quick. Don't want to get them too bad. Oh, three C1s. So that's not bad. We are going to have to take care of him if we want to go anywhere. So we're just going to keep it up. We're going to keep beating him. And there we go. See, that's why I like the nail board with bats. They're so easy to make, so easy to repair. And uh, they really make quick work of all the puppets. And you're going to see, that's the opposite side of where we just came in. So we walked, looped all the way around. Already went to both armories and saw a few offices. Next thing, this should be the stairwell. And that'll take us back to the main entrance that we came in on. There's only one stairwell here. And I need to be cautious opening this door because I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, there aren't any in here. This is actually really convenient. Now, you're going to see that there are two doors. One off to the left and one off to the right. And those lead to the other parts of the bunker. I don't know which side I hear puppets on, but I definitely do hear some. So, we're going to open up the right side first. And that's going to take us directly to the ladder room. And this one does have a door, which I like because it gives you like a little rest area, a place to hide if you sneak in. Um, kind of a buffer zone between puppets and players and stuff. So that's good. Um, and yeah, there's a ton of tarps in here, more than usual, and that'll take us right outside. We will escape through the ladder, just so I could show you, um, that part. Now, if we go to the left door, that is where we're going to find our kill box, as well as, um... Actually, really, it's just the kill box, right there off to your right. There's the kill box right there. Um, this door does not open, and then you got some more, uh, crates and tarps and, um, wall lockers. So it's not bad. Well, that is the whole bunker, so we have already looted the entire thing, and it only took us a few minutes. And that's why you can see, like, this is one of my favorites. It has pretty much zero fluff besides that big control room. Really easy to loot, really easy to clear out both things. The armories are close together, all that good stuff. It doesn't have any of the other things you might want, like the lab offices or the examine rooms or anything like that if you're looking for medical supplies. But if you're just trying to get kitted up with, like, clothing and weapons and get some food and all that, um, there is a depository. So, like, you, can, you definitely can find some pretty good stuff here. Now, the ladder is on the northeast side of the bunker. So what we're going to do is, uh, first I'm going to go into third person. We're going to open this up. Oh, he went right over us. I'm going to look around. The fence is right there. And we're just going to make a break for it to the left. It's quite a bit of a, a, a run. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. You can definitely get shot. But he usually does the two warning shots before he actually shoots. But uh, yeah, there you go. We did the entire D2 bunker in just a few minutes. I love this bunker. It has pretty much everything you need to get started. Super easy to sneak into, super easy to escape, and uh, it just has, you know, the perfect um, layout so you don't get lost and you don't get confused. And you can just get in and out, get what you need, and start your uh, character off with a really good start. So 
Thanks for watching the series so far. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Go ahead and leave comments on what I could do better, what you'd like to see from me in the future. That's how I can make the content better. I mean, it's better than disliking, in my opinion, because at least you could get your opinion out there and you can at least tell me how you feel. If you do like the videos, go ahead and show your support and watch the other ones because I have a lot to offer. And as far as scum goes, there's going to be more content. I actually have a schedule coming up. So again, thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. The support means everything to me. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.